Hi, in this video I am going to actually explain a technique to be on safe and not to be sorry as an Oracle DBA. Uh, this video purely concentrates on taking a proper and safe precautions for your data. So when I say your data, it is not your database data or it is not your personal data. It is completely the data which is required for your Oracle database administration. So I'm sure just like me, if you're an Oracle DBA, you must be having a lot of scripts, documents, white papers, softwares, tools, and uh, many such reference documents. And you must be saving them all together in a separate directory or something like that. Yes. So for you, uh, definitely the directory is very important. I'm sure if you change your company or if you move from one project to another project, you will definitely try to carry them along with you because all your administration scripts, tools and process and steps completely must have been safe in that directory. So now it is very important when you're actually working and you're completely dependent on a directory to make sure that directory is always safe. So if, for example, if there is a hardware crash and if your hard disk has been completely crashed, sure that your data, whatever you have been working so far, in that particular directory must have been lost. So your scripts, your documents and whatever is required for your particular, you know, day-to-day uh, -day activities is very, very important. And if there is a crash for that data, definitely you are in bad experience. So one such experience has definitely happened to me. So as you see in my blog, the blog name is also, as you see on the screen, one technique to be safe and not sorry as Oracle DBA. I've clearly explained that when I had two years of experience, uh, I have I used to store all my scripts, documents, white papers, certifications, and everything into a separate directory. And that directory uh, with all the data that was you know lost because of some hard disk failure. So this particular video is intended for you just not to be in my same situation. So my experience is what should help you to be on safe side and to be on you know take a early step now rather than you know later or never so now let me explain you so there are many tools the first thing that i wanted you to tell is you will be properly taking a manual backups so if you are proactive and if you know the importance of your back, uh, data uh, i'm sure that you must be taking manually your data backup somewhere uh, must be in the same hard disk must be into an external hard disk, must be into your emails, somewhere like that. But I'm sure even one day of data is very, very important to you, but it uh, important to you, the same with me. So I don't even accept if there is one day, day of data loss for me. So what I do is, what I have done with my backup team is, I have researched, uh, when I had two years of experience, I have researched so much and uh, I found that there are definitely tools which are already available in the market, which will help you to schedule proper backups of your own data. So one such tool that, you know, I have just researched and, you know, I felt it is comfortable to use is Ace Backup. So let me show you that Ace Backup and I'll also show you how did I schedule my daily backups of my directory into a safe location so that in, in case there is a crash, hardware issues, OS issues or any other issues, my data is always safe. So let me open that ACE backup tool and let me demonstrate how do you basically schedule a daily backup for your own catalog directory where you have all your scripts and documents. So as you see on the screen, this is ACE backup. This is the third version, which is the latest version which I'm using now. So this is the tool, very simple tool. You can download it. It's a freeware. That's the reason I'm, you know, adopt, I have adopted it. So to schedule a project, you have to just click on backup project there's a new project that will come up. So just click on new project, give a name called, you know, uh, daily uh, backups. All right. So here you have to click on this and click on edit. There will be a default, you know, for you, for the first time users, there will be a local system as the default backup directory because I have already scheduled it. There is a network uh, resource for me. So use the local, uh, it is a local system by default, but select that and always use network resource. So why am I trying to tell network resources if there is any operating system issue or if there is any hardware issue or hard disk issue, definitely your hard disk is completely gone. 
if you are taking the backup to the same hard disk there is no point that is not not at all called as a proper backup so always try to have a directory in the shared network definitely in all your organizations there must be some network drive shared to you so just try to take that network drive share and then click network drive share here and give the network path which is allocated for you so this is one of the network paths which i have already so i'll be using my uh, username and domain definitely is the uh, you know uh, pre uh, entry and then your username and then the password for your account so this is what very important and you have to give that and then click on ok so as i just click on ok ok the destination has come up here so it's a network resource that's what you can see on the screen the project name is daily backups simple so just click on next and it is asking you uh, whether what kind of format you wanted the backup to be saved with the help of this tool so basically uh, you can say proprietary it means that it it saves in its own format as the tool expects the other one is store as it is so if you are storing as it is that means it will just copy from your directory and paste it into a network directory that's it but you don't expect that you will get a revised versions of the documents that means in case if you have opened a document today you did some modifications tomorrow you have did another modifications in case if you wanted a revision version which includes only the modifications of yesterday you cannot get it from as is so it is always good you get it for the proprietary so that you get the revisions also so when i say revisions the data inside a file you will get revised versions of the data day to day that means it is just like an incremental backup of your database as simple as that so compression if you wanted you can use compression if you have very less space in your network directory yes compression encryption will help you to actually you know uh, secure your data so that nobody can use it but once you start using any of the encryption methods give a proper password and please do remember that because when restoring the data from this as backup definitely you require that password so yes i am i'm not using at the moment it is up to you to use or not just click next so do you want to update older files only or you wanted to replace the existing files or create a new version of the file when you create a new version of files that's where you will be able to get the older versions of the files that's the reason i'll be selecting always create a new version of the file and before you know the file types are created there is nothing that it has to include or exclude there is nothing like that to me and in case if you wanted to you know get an automatic email for every backup operation you can get it but at the moment i don't want it and in case if you wanted to you know only get errors report not the successful report even you can do that but i'm not maintaining it will always maintain a log file but it is not notifying me by an email that's it but you can do that so now i am giving a specific schedule so i am giving a schedule name here so as soon as you click on schedule it will be like this so just create a new schedule so it has to run every day so i'll start working basically at 10 10 am every day so i just say 11 am so that you know i'll be available every day at 11 am starting from today so if you click on advance you will get when to start when to end what reputation if you have some exclusions uh, you can actually have them here so it is much more in detail you can do that definitely so yes apply that click on okay and it is asking you the account password uh, with which account it has to run because i log in with my same account on my system i'll be giving the same account username and password without which it cannot run so i'm giving the password for my account on my system so you can do that for your own so it's only a temporary account anyway so just click next and this is a summary it's a project name is daily backup there is no encryption this is where it is going to take the backup just click on finish yes so it has created this one yeah so after the backup project is created what i do is in my directory i have something like this so or something like this so i wanted this to be part of the backup this project so every day this directory has to be backed up so you have to go to the directory where you have your scripts documents white papers everywhere so make sure that backup directory is added to the backup so this is what it is adding it so perform the backup immediately so as soon as you click on next it will take the first backup now see it is it has taken the first backup and you can see that inside this daily backup project you have one directory which is part of the backup so once you click on this batches these are the files which are already taken in the backup so where is the backup stored 
it is stored in the network directory that we have given. So let me open my network directory and show you whether these backup files are there in that network directory or not. So as you see, 192.168.0.100 with my name, there is a network backup, daily backup. Yes, it is. So as you see here, because we have asked the backup file format to be prerequisite or uh, the uh, as the format is a proprietary format, that's the reason you will have it like this. But if you just select that as it is, then that uh, backup format would be exactly the same as you have your original data. So this is where my backup is now currently in place. So now I am safe that every day when I come to office, after one hour of after logging into the system, automatically this tool will go and take the backup of this directory where I have all my files. So in this way, you can be on safe side from all your crashes because your data is very, very important as your profile. That's what I believe from my bad experience that I had. And please remember, while you are using any of the tools, not only this one, if you use any of the tools in future, please make sure you give a directory where you have only your important documents because you are taking the backup to a network directory and it might be slower sometimes. And if you are giving huge data to backup, say that you have 20 GB or 30 GB of data that it has to worry uh, to take the backup, then it might slow down your system or slow down the network and you know, Sometimes it might create performance issues on your local laptop. So make sure you give a directory which is very, very important for you so that you're always on the safe hands. So thank you for hearing to me. Hope this helped you a lot and uh, hope you spread this as much as possible to your colleagues. And I love to like your video. So please like the video if it is interesting to you and uh, hope you will follow my channel. I'll look out for subscription for the channel www.orskull.com in YouTube. So hope to serve you better in future. Stay tuned for upcoming videos. Thank you.